welcome back to another cleaning video. This is going to be a whole house clean with me. I've got laundry, lots of dust bunnies, and at the end of the video I'm going to show a recipe for some stuffed Italian peppers. So let's get started. We'll start off with the laundry and get the mats thrown in and then we will go from there. I did the youngest girl's laundry the day before, so I'm folding that now and I'm going to get that put away. This video is going to cover about three days worth of cleaning because I could not get to everything in one day as much as I wanted to. So I think it took me about three days total. Uh, today was mostly laundry and the kitchen. The large pile of laundry I showed at the beginning of the video was my husband and I's laundry. It was about two days worth of laundry that I had to put away, so I'm doing that now. And then I also had some towels that I washed that needed to get put away too. Break your Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you that Now I am putting Lucy and Eleanor's clothes away in their rooms And then I will be moving on to the bathroom it's magical when you are close, so be close, babe What do you good, cause I am cold and I'm golden You're not really looking for a friend, so at the top for me Never thought that loving would be easy, but it's all for free Won't cost a thing, so it's yours, worth the try, oh This is the real thing, I'm down, I'm down. guest bathroom or the main bathroom I guess the girls bathroom 
because I had already cleaned the master bathroom the day before. So I'm just doing my usual cleaning routine in this bathroom and getting it ready for the weekend. Get next to me, get next to me. Now we are all done with the bathroom. I just love having it clean and ready for the weekend in case we have guests that come over. Moving on to the kitchen, I just had to put dishes away and wash dishes and then just kind of wipe everything down. So the same usual cleaning routine that I normally do. Alright, so on the following day I did something that I don't do often but definitely need to do every now and then and that is to shampoo my carpets. I don't really have carpet, we have hardwood floor throughout but I do like to clean the rugs because they get so much foot traffic between us and the dogs. I like to use just the Hoover pet cleaner um, for carpets when I do them and then just some hot water and this is the Bissell Pet Cleaner Pro, I think it's called. I can put it down in the description box, but I love it. It works so well, and I just do sweeps, do it really slow. The solution smells really, really good. I know there's a lot of different ones you can use. I just really like this one because we do have pets, and I feel like it really takes away the strong odor from the pets. But I definitely recommend this carpet cleaner, and I also recommend the cleaning solution as well.
And we are done with the rugs that get the most foot traffic. This is what I ended up with. It's disgusting, I know, but also kind of fascinating at the same time. So get that cleaned out and put away, and then I move on to vacuuming. I'm just trying to do quick vacuums of the entire house and get as many of the little dust bunnies as I can. I don't know if anyone else has dogs that shed. I have two dogs that shed like crazy, so vacuuming is a must, and I swear I can go one day and not vacuum, and we will have hairball tumbleweeds everywhere. Leave a comment down below if this is your house or if you have any solutions. I do have a Roomba, and I run him as much as I can, but these hairballs are insane, so I'm always open to suggestions. Lastly, I'm going to move on to mopping. I just use a regular mop with a microfiber mop head and then I use a Bona, Bona, the hardwood floor cleaner. We have engineered bamboo throughout, so I feel like that does a really good job of cleaning the floors, but also helping them to keep their shine and just maintain them as well as I can. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the entire house and get that done and then I will share my recipe that I found with you. In all of those nights when I knew you were mine I miss when we were teenage girls in our tomboy t-shirts When life was good in the worn out sneakers When we were fine about the complications Those were the days in the tomboy t-shirts After wiping everything down, that's going to wrap up the cleaning portion of the video. So I hope this gave you some motivation to do some cleaning around your space too and knock some stuff off of your to-do list. Finally, I'm going to share this recipe with you. It is for Italian stuffed peppers. The recipe is from Delish, so I will post the recipe link down below. I just found it on Pinterest. Um, but for the recipe, you're going to need some bell peppers, a yellow onion, half a cup of white rice, some garlic cloves, olive oil, and then just whatever cheese. The recipe calls for Monterey Jack cheese, but I just had this Fiesta cheese, so I use that. You're going to need parsley flakes for the end, uh, and then some dried oregano for some seasoning, as well as just salt and pepper and also some Italian sausage. You can do this with beef as well. I just have sausage on hand, so that's what I used. Very simple ingredients, most of the stuff you have on hand. We're going to start by preheating our oven to 400, and then we will chop our veggies, cook the rice, and get it going.
going to add just a little drizzle of olive oil into my pan and then I'm going to put the yellow onion in and get that cooking until it is soft, so about five minutes or so. And then stir it up a little bit before I add in my garlic. Once the garlic is in, it'll cook for just about another minute before you add in the sausage. And then you're just going to cook all of that together until your sausage is browned. I just like to cook it all together so I have the flavor from the sausage. You could also brown the sausage first and then cook the onion garlic separately as well. Now we're going to chop and core the bell peppers. You can chop just the tops off and then hollow out the center that way. I cut them in half because my daughter isn't a huge fan of bell peppers and I thought this would maybe cut out a little bit of the pepper taste for her but still give the flavor. It worked fine. You could probably put more stuffing if you did it the other way but this worked fine for me. I'm just drizzling a teeny bit of olive oil and then I added the rice into my onion and sausage mixture. I'm just putting in some oregano and salt and pepper for taste. We'll stir that up and let it cook for just another minute or so and then we're gonna add that into our peppers. Now I'm just going through and sprinkling my cheese on top of each pepper. It's completely up to you how much cheese you want. I put a little bit extra and then I'm going to cover it with foil and we're going to put it in the oven and bake it for about 35 minutes. You can remove the foil and cook it for an additional 10 minutes and then it should be ready. This is what it looks like when it's all done. The cheese should be melted and bubbly by the time you take it out and everything is just cooked right into the pepper. This was so good, especially if you enjoy the flavor of peppers, which I do. I definitely recommend this recipe. It's easy and very, very tasty. So I will leave it linked down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.